Today I'm in Leicestershire, near the village of North Kilworth, to see a development of 22 new houses, all with Samsung air source heat pumps. I'm here to find out why air source heat pumps are playing a role in decarbonizing the housing stock, how they can be integrated into larger developments, and why it's important to guide homeowners through this transition. Hi Charlie, welcome. Nice Come on in. Nice to meet you. Can you talk me through the differences from design right through to construction when designing houses that use air source heat pump systems? The main difference between an air source heat pump and a gas fired boiler is really you need to take real account of the positioning of the outside unit and the cylinder. Bends and long distance of pipe runs reduces the efficiency. So it's really important that that's optimised. To get them nice and close. Get them nice and, and close. that's the principal, principal move. Absolutely. And, th and that needs to be taken account as you're designing the house, as opposed to there's the design of the house, where do we put the heat pump, where do we put the cylinder? So it's all about integrating it from day one, really. What advice would you give to other developers thinking of embracing air source heat pumps on their developments? Yeah. Well, obviously making sure that um, the system is designed, installed and commissioned, goes without saying, by a competent engineer. But also end user education, I think, would be the, the single biggest piece of advice I would, I would give to any other developer. Ensuring that the customers know exactly the capabilities of the system and how to operate it in its most efficient form. We partner with an installation and commissioning engineer. And we ask that engineer to return to each of our new residents uh, around about a month after they've moved in. To then ask them questions about their lifestyle, and make sure that the settings are correct and they're using the system in the most efficient way. So you sort of give them a little bit of a uh, a lesson in how to run the house to get the absolute most out of the system. Absolutely, yeah. And we find that's really critical. And do you find that people are generally satisfied with the moon choice or seat pumps? Uh, absolutely. Andy talked about the need for good quality installation and a commissioning partner. Matt Tyrrell from CH Olsen was and is that commissioning partner on this project. Now, Matt, why was it so important that you met up with the homeowners when they first moved in? Well, history taught us that a lot of the call-outs we got post-installation were down to a lack of education and a lack of understanding from the homeowner. So we implemented a handover session and that was designed to mitigate those future call-outs. And how important is it to tailor the settings on the heat pump, the controls of the heat pump to specifically reflect an individual or a household's lifestyle? Yeah, absolutely. We can build and design 10 houses to exactly the same specification, but as soon as you put 10 families in those 10 houses, the requirements of the system changes. So it's important that we meet them, understand lifestyle, establish their comfort levels, and set up a control strategy that suits that lifestyle. And how important are controls to the successful use of SLC pumps? Yeah, controls are absolutely essential. They're essential for the homeowner because it's their only interface with the system. They don't have to take covers off panels, so the controls on the wall is how they interact with the system. From an engineering point of view, it allows us a window into the system. We can set up our important parameters that control the heat pump control strategy, and that's all done through the controls. The more we can do through the controls, the better. So if you were talking to a developer who was thinking of making the transition towards heat pumps, what would your sort of principal tips and advice be? Design the system well, size the system correctly, and make sure it's set up and handed over properly. And if you do that, you shouldn't have any problems. That's the key to success. So as part of the decarbonisation strategy for the UK, the government has mandated the Future Home Standard, which is due to come in in 2025. To give an idea about the carbon reduction, you're looking at anywhere between 75 and 80% carbon reduction against properties that are built to current building rigs. From a training perspective, it's taking engineers on part of that journey and providing free of charge training to encourage that engagement. We have a pre-sales technical team that is able to establish which low carbon options are the most appropriate for the client. We've got EHS cloud service, which after post-install gives the opportunity for those service contractors to be able to provide a remote diagnostics, run pre-service checks. And so it's kind of minimizing that impact to the homeowner. Are you excited about this coming change? Yeah, very much so. Um, being involved in it for the last 15 years and seeing many changes along the way. And it's great to be involved with a manufacturer, with the support mechanism behind that we see so much investment in from the industry, but also support from the government um, to make this transition really as easy as possible for everyone involved in it and make the experience for the end user um, seamless and as enjoyable as possible.
You know, this has given a real insight into the progress being made in transitioning away from traditional boilers to air source heat pumps. And it's really shown that with good design and construction, good controls and good customer engagement, this can be a positive, seamless experience for both house builders and homeowners alike.